Hi folks, Joseph Kursky here out in the field with you. You know, there's a lot of things in our environment, human built and nature, where we don't really think about it, but you can map them and understand them better and then make a difference in your community. So for example, storm drains, you don't really think about them. You walk right by them, you bicycle right by them, you drive right by them, you really don't think about it. But storm drains are really important to our communities and to our environment. Here's a couple reasons why. They reduce flooding, they help reuse water. You can use them for mitigating fire or for plant watering plants in parks, reducing icy patches in the wintertime, reducing water contaminants, reducing the infrastructure damage that could occur from a flood, reducing soil erosion, and they also increase neighborhood beauty. So when you think about it, storm drains are really important to our environment, especially to water quality, because most of this stuff that goes down here, anything that the water picks up, pesticides, fertilizer, motor oil, etc. It actually doesn't get filtered and treated by a water treatment plant. So be careful about what you put down there. So that's another community connection that we could teach about. More about that in the next video. Thanks. Now there are many reasons to teach about storm drains, for example, as a thing that you can collect, map, analyze, and then make a difference about. For example, here, you're connecting the human-built world with the natural world, right? There's precipitation that falls in the form of rain, sleet, snow, etc. It gets washed into storm drains. So it's a human-built thing, but it's part of the hydrologic system. Another reason why you can teach about it is because it leads to responsibility. What, what issues in my community do I care about, including storm drains? Why do I care about the water that goes into these things? And another reason to do it is because you're connecting students with their own community, community issues. Lastly, you can actually teach a lot of GIS skills with these storm drain studies. For example, collecting data with Survey123, mapping it in ArcGIS Online, analyzing it with uh, web-based GIS tools, and then making a decision about it, and then maybe presenting that information in a story map or in another web mapping application to your community, to your peers, to your classmates, and to others about why this actually matters.